You ready? Just say I'm on. All right. We want to welcome you this morning to our Facebook Live service here at New Hope Baptist Church. We hope we find you well. If we say every Sunday, I know it's a little different service, but it's just good to be able to get the word out. And that is to be able to stay in touch with you. So I'm going to be much in prayer for the service today. Don't feel like we'll hold you very long. Uh, I know we've got several within the church that need our prayers, and we've got those outside that we know are acquaintances and friends, as I'm sure you do, that are lost and undone, especially that are upon our heart, and those that are sick and afflicted, and we've heard of a few deaths throughout Madison, brethren, that we served with and been around with for years and that, so we'd like y'all to help us remember their families. But again, we'll say welcome here at New Hope. I uh, hope we'll be able to, and want you to just a quick few announcements before we get started in the service. Uh, there, so if you remember the men's meeting uh, Wednesday night here at the church, uh, and then also our Bible study is Tuesday night at 7 30. So they're on Zoom. So if you can join us on that, we'd greatly love to have you in that. But before we go any further in the service, we're just going to go to the Lord in prayer. I was going to open in prayer uh, this morning. If you can, you pray for what's on your heart and that that's closest to you. And if you can, you just bow with your seat. Father, we're just ever thankful, Lord, for another day. You bless us with the help and the strength, and God, just the ability, God, to be able to gather out in your house. Father, as we've already said, that, God, we've got friends and family that need to. Father, that, God, we've got those that are lost and undone. God, that we've seen friends for many years, that, God, good people, but, Lord, just never accepted thee as thy Lord and Savior. We ask, God, that you might just ever help us, God, that we might be alive, and, God, those that we come in contact with, that we might ever be a help unto them. Lord, we just ask for today, God, with the families, with those lost loved ones, and that God believed in God and that sad at heart. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you might just touch them. And that God, we know that those that are sick and afflicted, Lord, today, those that are taking care of them, Lord, and that we just pray that you'll give them strength and that God encouragement, Lord, until they, God, and that, Lord, you see fit to give them, Lord, another time that they might be able to gather out in the church house with us. Lord, we ask God to continue. Lord, we just ask you to be with us. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins and shortcomings, not for anything. And Lord, as we come and try to bring the word this morning, God, that you might just anoint us a prayer, give us that that's needed, and Lord, we might be able to help someone uh, by its way. And God, we just ask it all today in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Good to have again my wife with me. I know we're just uh, here, but uh, we're going to ask her to come on if she can, sing one or two, whatever might be on her heart. And uh, we'll just go further in the service.
from my sin. It says, For I acknowledge my transgression in that, and my sin is ever before me. And that I know. Uh, it said, And against thee and in thee only I have sinned in that, uh, uh, this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified uh, uh, when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. It said, Behold, uh, I was shaken in, shaken in iniquity and my sin did. Uh, uh, my mother conceived me. Behold, that uh, thou desirest uh, uh, the truth in the inward parts in that the hidden uh, uh, part of thou shalt make me in that to know wisdom in that it said. Uh, uh, purge me with discipline it shall be clean. Uh, uh, wash me and I shall be whiter in that than snow. Uh, it said make me to hear joy and gladness at thy bones with uh, uh, thou hast broken me rejoice. Have thy face from my sins uh, and blot out all my iniquities. It said create in me uh, a clean heart O oh God and renew uh, a right spirit within me. It said cast me uh, uh, not away from thy presence, take not thy holy uh, uh, spirit from me. It said, Restore unto me uh, uh, the joy of thy salvation. It said, Uphold me uh, uh, with thy free spirit. It said, Then will I teach uh, uh, transgressions the ways and sinners shall be uh, uh, converted unto thee. It said, Deliver me uh, uh, from the blood guiltless, O God, thou God of my salvation. Uh, uh, my tongue shall sing aloud with thy righteousness. Uh, it said, Lord, open up thy mouth ends, and my mouth shall show forth uh, uh, thy praise. You listen. It said, For thou desirest uh, a sacrifice, and else would I give it. Thou desirest uh, uh, not in burnt offering. It said, In the sacrifice of our God, uh, or a broken heart, uh, a spirit, and a broken and contrite heart uh, of God, which will not thou despise. Uh, it said, Do good in thy good pleasure of design. Uh, uh, build thy walls of Jerusalem. Uh, it said, And thou shalt be pleased in the sacrifice, uh, and the righteousness shall be burnt offering, and the whole burnt offering uh, uh, shall be offered bullocks of home. Uh, uh, thy altar this morning. Now I don't know uh, uh, what I'll say from that, but you pray for me uh, uh, for just a minute if I can find it. Uh, uh, this day that I don't believe I had it marked, but I want to read over here uh, uh, just a little bit if I can. Uh, if I can find it right quick. Uh, it said, now I'll bring Galatians. It said, uh, Galatians 5. Uh, yeah, I know what it said. Now listen, it said, stand fast. Uh, uh, therefore in the liberty we're with Christ uh, hath made us free and be not entangled again uh, uh, with the yoke of bondage. Now I'm going to step over just a little bit uh, uh, today and I'm going to read down in that this morning. Uh, uh, around the 17th verse. Now I want you to listen. Uh, uh, this morning I'm going to back up and go to 16th. Uh, it said this I say then walk in the spirit uh, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Uh, it said for the flesh lust is against the spirit uh, and the spirit against the flesh and these two uh, he said and these are contrary one to another uh, uh, that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Now listen uh, he said but if ye live by the spirit you are not under the law uh, he said now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these. Uh, I know I've read this before but I can't hear it uh, adultery, fornication uncleanness, lust, business uh, he said idolatry witchcraft, hatred, marriage uh, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies. Uh, he said, Indians and murders, drunkenness and dwelling. Uh, he said, Such are they which I tell you uh, uh, before I have told you in time past uh, uh, that certain saints shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, uh, but listen unto this. It said, But the fruit of the Spirit uh, is love, joy, and peace, and long suffering, uh, uh, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Uh, a meekness, temperance, and against there and such there is uh, uh, no law when there in Christ was crucified. Uh, uh, the flesh was with the affections and the lust. Uh, if we live in the Spirit, he said, if we live in the Spirit, uh, uh, let us also walk in the Spirit. Uh, uh, let us not be desirous in that of vain. Uh, uh, glory provoking one another 
an injury in one another. Uh, uh, this morning, now I know that's a law man. Uh, uh, here this morning, it truly is. Uh, and I don't know if I can say or do anything from it this morning. Uh, uh, today, but I'm just going to tell you something. Uh, I, can't, I can't help but think about what uh, uh, David brought to us over there in that 51 uh, or 51st Psalm, if I can get back to it uh, uh, this morning. But I want to let you know something today. Uh, uh, today, I'm just going to tell you uh, uh, this morning, I don't know where you're at in your life, uh, uh, but I've been thinking a lot on the sins in that of old, uh, uh, the flesh that we live in on a daily basis this morning. Uh, uh, you say, Brother Chris, I'm born again. Uh, I'm not that what you are where you're at in your life, uh, uh, because only you and God know this morning. Uh, I don't have a great light that I can examine you by no means. Uh, uh, this morning, I don't have I'll put it to you like this. I don't have a natural light to examine you by this morning, but God has given us the word. This morning, it is a light under my feet. If it's a lamp, if I'm saying it, not a lamp under my path. This morning, that it's able to shine out in a dark place. It's able to give you the light that you need, that you might be able to overcome the things that are in your life. This morning, that I'm trying to lay a little this morning, but nevertheless, uh, uh, this morning I remember reading uh, in that over in the scriptures, if I'm saying it right, uh, uh, this morning that they had, uh, uh, the sister had two uh, uh, sons that was born in her uh, womb. Uh, uh, it was Esau and Jacob, and you know that. Uh, uh, this morning, and you know, uh, uh, one was a keeper of the field, and he said, uh, uh, this morning he served at what his God loved to him. Uh, he said, but his mother loved Jacob this morning you prayed for me. Uh, uh, this morning you've got something more than you this morning. Uh, uh, this morning there's something on the inside of you uh, uh, that's born against the very soul uh, uh, that God give you tonight. Uh, uh, you say, well, Brother Chris, what it is? Uh, it's the sins of the flesh today. Uh, uh, this morning I don't mean to get on the back times. Uh, and I'm not trying to get on them this morning. Uh, uh, but I want you to understand Today. Uh, there's some things pouring in your members today. Uh, and the only way this morning uh, uh, that you'll ever be able to overcome it uh, is through the Jesus Christ that God sent you uh, uh, to be able to help you, uh, uh, give you the spirit uh, uh, that you need this morning uh, uh, to reach out uh, and take hold of him today. Uh, uh, you pray for me uh, uh, this morning that wasn't why. Uh, or what I was wanting to get to. Uh, uh, have you ever, uh, uh, this morning, have you ever uh, uh, looked up the word bond? Uh, uh, or looked up the word bound? Uh, uh, this morning, have you ever uh, uh, felt like in your life uh, uh, that you was bound to something? Uh, uh, that you just can't break it on your own? Uh, uh, this morning, that's the way sin is today. Uh, uh, this morning, there's no breaking the chains. Uh, uh, there's no breaking the fetters. Uh, unless the strong man of the house uh, uh, come in uh, and bind up the one uh, uh, that's got you bound today. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, uh, this morning I can't help it. Uh, uh, this morning I can't come. Uh, uh, this morning but there's no uh, help this morning for you. Uh, outside of Christ today. Uh, uh, this morning, but uh, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, where's your heart at? Uh, uh, this morning, you say, Brother Chris, uh, it's right there where it needs to be. Uh, uh, is it this morning? Uh, I'm not doubting the word. Uh, uh, but what I'm asking you out there is, uh, at where uh, is your heart at today? Uh, because of what I'm trying to get to you. Uh, and the rest you know me as son. If it's not upon the things in that which are above, I'm afraid the weights and sins of this world one day I will choke out our witness. It will choke out the things that are good in that bright and mighty in your life. I've been talking to brethren. 
preaching tonight. You say, Brother Chris, he already has. Yes, he has. I know through through a salvation this morning. He's already brought out many things in that in my life today. But I'm going to tell you something. If you think that things won't creep in on me and you, I'm afraid you're going to believe a lie. Uh, this morning and be damned. Uh, uh, this day and you say, well, Chris, uh, uh, that's not very popular. Uh, I know it might not be, but what I'm going to talk to you about uh, uh, this morning is, uh, uh, are you bound uh, or are you free today? Uh, uh, this morning you say, well, uh, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, uh, I remember they were some uh, 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 men in the Bible you can find it. Uh, I believe it's over in Kings somewhere. Uh, uh, you find it around First Kings. Uh, around the six, I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, but you look it up. Uh, uh, but they had come to uh, a time in these two boys' lives. Uh, uh, this day that they were sitting outside uh, in the series today. Uh, uh, they were sitting there uh, and they were in need today. Uh, uh, they were in a standstill. Uh, in their life today. Let me ask you something. I'm being honest with you and I believe it's time this morning soon that we just be honest with ourselves. This morning, where's our heart at? Is it crying out to God? Is it wanting God to be able to be able to enrich our lives? Is it wanting God to be able to put us on a higher plane? Chris, you're saying you want God uh, to bless us more. Uh, uh, he's already blessed me more uh, uh, than I could ever repay. Uh, uh, but I do have confidence uh, uh, and I have a love for my Savior this morning uh, uh, that whether I'm in uh, uh, the deepest valley uh, uh, or whether I'm climbing the high seal uh, uh, this morning or whether I'm looking over on the other side uh, uh, this morning that I've got a greater in that to be able to let uh, he'll be able to have his way uh, with my life this morning uh, uh, you say well you're the pastor uh, you're supposed to have uh, uh, this morning can I tell you uh, uh, this morning uh, uh, I may be the pastor of New Hope uh, and you may be a member of forever uh, uh, this morning but it don't give pastors uh, uh, get out of jail free card today Oh, 
ship of Zion. Uh, that when we pass by, uh, that we can look down to those uh, and be able to say, you know, Lord, uh, while she's passing by, uh, uh, she's going to leave one day after a while, uh, and it's going to be too late. Uh, uh, you pray for no man. Uh, I can't help to thank this morning. Uh, uh, this morning, looking at you. Uh, 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 this day, now there's a place. Uh, and I'll get back to them old boys in a minute. Uh, 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 but, uh, uh, can I just go ahead and say this? Uh, I'll just go ahead and go back to the rooms. Uh, uh, where are you at in your life? Uh, uh, the Bible said that they were sent there. Uh, uh, Sister Shannon, they were sent there. Uh, uh, you know me. Uh, uh, I, I know I bring this stuff quite a bit. Uh, uh, you know my way is better than anybody. Uh, uh, this morning I've got some hatefulness about me. Uh, uh, today that I don't even like. Uh, uh, Chris, you say, well, you shouldn't say that. Uh, I just want you to realize how weak you are uh, or how weak I am. Uh, uh, but the only thing that makes me strong uh, is being able to submit myself under the mighty hand of God. Uh, uh, being able to let His Spirit dwell in my being. Uh, and if I'll be able to do that, uh, I can be a beacon on a hill uh, uh, that might be able to shine out to somebody. Uh, uh, but when I start thinking it's because of my goodness uh, and because of my ways uh, uh, that I'm reaching people, uh, I'm afraid I'm backing up uh, uh, today and I'll never be able uh, uh, to be able to give the strength that they uh, out there in sin and back sin land uh, uh, that they need to be able to come out today. Uh, uh, but nevertheless, uh, 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 this morning, them old boys were over there uh, uh, sitting there thinking, uh, uh, what are we going to do? Now let me ask you something, church. Uh, uh, this morning, I know uh, uh, I'm not trying to be smart or critical. Uh, about any of this, I really don't. Uh, uh, but I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, 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 we've, got, we've got a turning point in our lives. Uh, uh, this morning, you say, well, uh, 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 we've got this thing going on. Yeah, we do. Uh, uh, we've got it going on. We've got things. Uh, I'll see here people getting this virus left and right. Uh, uh, here and there, I'm just going to tell you uh, uh, today, but I also want you to understand. Uh, uh, let's quit talking about that a little bit. Uh, uh, let's talk about what what God can do in mind in your life. Uh, it's an opportunity to reach out to those uh, uh, that their world's crumbling around him. Uh, uh, we're built upon a sure foundation. Uh, uh, Peter said, uh, he told Peter, uh, he said, upon this rock, Peter, uh, he said, I'll build my church. Uh, and that rock being the cornerstone, uh, uh, the chief cornerstone being Christ, uh, uh, that every block that was laid, uh, everything that was done therein, uh, uh, was built upon the Son of God. Uh, uh, today, and if we're trying uh, uh, to find comfort on anything else, uh, I'm afraid our house uh, uh, shall be like the one that was built uh, in that upon the sands of the sea. Uh, uh, that when the storms of life come, uh, uh, great shall be the fall of it today. Uh, uh, you pray. Uh, I know I'm skipping around, but it's coming through. Uh, uh, this morning, I can't get it through. Uh, 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 I believe Shannon is saying, he said, Bishop, he said, the son, he said, the foundation of God, stand is sure this morning. So let me ask you something, sinner friend, a church member, I know it's bleak. We were talking a little bit earlier about some of the members here going through a rough time. And believe you me, they've been on my heart this morning. I just want you to know that. Uh, we talk about them often, Shannon, I do. Uh, uh, but nevertheless, I want you to understand one thing. Uh, I don't care if you're 50 year old. Uh, I don't care if you're 18. Uh, and I don't care if you're well enough in your nights. Uh, uh, the Lord is still Lord of Lords. Uh, he's still King of Kings. Uh, he's still the one that's able to take care of us all. Uh, I know we went through some dry times. Uh, but I'm going to ask you something. Uh, uh, just how thirsty are you today? Uh, uh, when the children of Israel were down in Egypt uh, and they were down in bondage as I said earlier. Uh, uh, you know the one thing that they wanted to do uh, uh, while they were down there. Uh, uh, they wanted to be able to worship their God. Uh, uh, they cried out unto him today. Uh, uh, they wanted to hear from him. Uh, uh, they knew there was a land out there uh, uh, that if they could get to it uh, uh, they could be able to be free again. 
So you know what? Their attitude changed. They changed. I want you to go to, I want you to go over and live. I'm going to ask you something. And you go over there from the time that they were so down in when Joseph was tired. When Joseph was so down in from his brothers and he become down there in the dungeon and he went before the king and he told him the dreams. Do you listen to me? Of the butler and the baker. He told them all that he did, and God just used him time and time again. And got right up to the right hand of Pharaoh right there to listen to me. <laughs> but you know what Joseph was doing? <laughs> he was sustaining life in Egypt. He was. <laughs> he was sustaining life for his people today. <laughs> uh, today, do you know what Christ did for me and you? <laughs> he sustained life for his children. <laughs> uh, today, he brought them out of bondage. <laughs> he brought them to a place. <laughs> and he didn't forget about them. <laughs> but he gave them life. <laughs> and he gave them abundance. Uh, but you know what old Joseph did? Uh, he done just like we're all going to do. Uh, oh, he died. Uh, he did. He died. Uh, and slowly but surely, uh, uh, the kings and the pharaohs, uh, uh, they forgot about the God of uh, uh, Joseph. And guess what happened? Uh, uh, them children of Israel, they begin to multiply. Uh, uh, today, and you know what the Pharaoh did? Uh, he put them down in bondage. Uh, uh, he wanted to keep them quiet. Uh, he wanted to be able to use them for his benefit. Uh, I know that I'm skipping a lot, but I'm trying to get there. Uh, uh, but you know what he did? Uh, uh, it took a time for them people. Uh, and you say, well, how long were they down there, Brother Chris? Uh, uh, they were down in Egypt for a long time. Time. Uh, today, 400 years or so. Uh, uh, today, before. Uh, and now, God didn't forget about them. Uh, uh, but let me ask you something. Uh, I know I've been through that. Uh, I've been through my 400 years. Uh, but I've been through some things that I thought I would never uh, see the light of the day again. Uh, but when I finally realized it wasn't within my own strength uh, and it was in the mind of God, uh, He Brought me out of those things. That's what happened about the children of Israel. You know what I think God's doing? He's showing us. We're getting ready. You say, Chris, you're just. You mean for the end of time? I'm not talking about. The split in the eastern sky. He's letting you know where you're at. Is he desire since we've shut down here? And I'm not saying shut down totally. At New Hope, when you wake up on Sunday morning, I just want to ask you something, and I'm not trying to be smart. Is it more on the world and what you got planned for that day? Or is it up on the house of God that you might be able to hear whether it's me? Or whether it's Lamar, or whether it's the wife, or whether it's Stephen Moore, after the Facebook is filled with preachers crying in their beds to keep the flock fed today between, or you turn it off and watching the ball game instead of listening to what God has to say. I know that might not be, and I'm not trying to be smart. Where's your desires at? Where's your heart at? Do you miss her? Do you miss her today? I hope so. I hope so. But them old boys were sitting there at the gate. You know what they said? Well, why do we sit here until we die? But they didn't realize it. The Bible said, and I'm going to skip through it. I'll bring my remark to a close, maybe here in a minute. Shannon, you remember the night, and I know I don't mean to pick on You remember the night when I sat in that middle bench, I had a choice. I was right smack dab in the middle. There was people on the left-hand side of me, and there was people on the right-hand side of me. 
And you know what? God was everywhere in that church that night. But he was looking right at me that night. And I remember sitting there trembling and looking at him, holding the best I could to the bench, trying to make myself not be so nervous. But it finally got to a point that I can't remember who was to the left that night, but I remember pushing you to the side and telling you, I said, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, they, you know what? Uh, I was kind of like them boys sitting there at the gate. Why do I sit here till I die? Uh, I didn't know what was over the next horizon. Uh, I didn't know if God was saving me or not. Uh, it was my faith that I had in Him. Uh, and I believed in Him and what I heard uh, uh, this morning that if I went to Him and took something uh, uh, that was broken and undone, uh, uh, that He could put it back together uh, and make it alive. kind of left that like them boys did. Can you see them when they got up from there and went into the city down through there? They knew the enemy was supposed to be in there. The Bible said they went on into the inner camp. They looked around. And everything was there, but the enemy was gone. The Bible said they went into the tent. They were able to feel themselves with the food. As they will look over here, they had their possessions and their treasures and left them. God had sustained them. That's exactly where I want you to get this morning. I want you to go towards him that he might be able to show you <laughs> that he's got the goodness and the treasures <laughs> of which are from above that he can be able to make you smile again. Can I ask you something this morning? And I'll hush here a minute. You know who built the temple of the Lord to begin with? It was Solomon. And boy, God richly blessed that boy with wisdom and understanding. He is able to govern with a godliness and a wisdom that no other man did. But as he built the house of God, all the furs come down through the rivers it was laden with gold and he got that thing done. And I started here and across the land. And I'm going to ask you something. How long have you heard in your life about the good thing of God? How long have you sat across the dinner table when my mom would say the blessing or my mom would say the blessing and that you would look and say able to reverence and you knew, you knew that they had something uh, this morning that you would love to have, how long have you looked and desired? But old Solomon, he began to let his servants be able to serve and then go in and out. No queen she, but I believe her name was for she. She started hearing some things. Let me ask you something. Have you been hearing some things? I know it might seem weird to y'all. Me sitting here preaching to three people uh, uh, today that are naturally within my presence this morning. Uh, uh, but I want you to know that if you're under the sound of my voice this morning, uh, uh, God loves you. Uh, uh, this morning, He made provisions for you. Uh, and He's able to take care of you this morning. But nevertheless, He started hearing about the majesty and about the law. Never been anything built like that. And she said, you know what she said? She's going to go see it for herself. Said a friend, lost person, church member, born and evil believer. You're going to have to go see it for yourself. She got in, and you know what she did? She didn't go in it. She thought, she said, I'll take camels. She'll take gold. She took spices for everything that she might be able to give her come down through there. And all that that woman had, and all that the house of God looked at, and all that the beams of, of gold, laid with gold, and all those things of Jasper, and all those things that it looked like, that woman sat down and began to look at the beauty of the house of God. She knows, and she talked about it with him more than anything. And you know what it was? It's 
that the servants that he had went in and out of the house of God with praise on their lips, with joy in their heart, and with thanksgiving under their God. Folks, I know that we've got a lot of reason to put my hand or head for. I know we got a lot of reason maybe to say this, that, or the other. But let me tell you, God's temple is still beautiful. God's house is still beautiful today. God's place is still beautiful today. So lift your head up.
talk to you more this morning. And I hope it finds you well. I really do. I hope it finds you well. And as we sing, I'm going to give you the opportunity. And I, I know we're just sitting here by ourselves. It seems like but I want you to understand that God can be able to lift you up right where you're at. As we sing this song, you listen to it. sit down and talk 